Good morning, internet friends. So this, what you're looking at now, is some trellises I made for my peas many years ago now. It's just recycled uh, two by stock and made into a frame. I reinforced the corners with pieces of plywood and attached one inch uh, chicken wire to it. This year I have my peas planted along the front fence and so they're not needed for there. In this garden bed here I planted some old seeds. I have peas little marvel, beans stringless green pod and bush beans tend to green improved. Growing among it is of course the turnip quote quote weed seeds that uh, got into my compost when I was growing seed last year. I had planted potatoes here last year so they missed little potatoes they're coming up. This is boreish. It readily reseeds and I decide what plants I want to keep and what ones to take when they can come up next year. Now as for what's growing of the old seed, I have a pea right here. Uh, there's one over there. And I thought I seen a third one here somewhere. I only need to get a couple, so if I grow them out, then I'll have fresh seed, which will grow well next year. Here's one of the stringless green pod beans. And once, I might find a couple of others. Let's see if we can find a bush bean. I'm not seeing any right now, but I'll weed this bed out and uh, then we'll put a trellis by each bean or pea that's growing. So, I weeded it out, I found just the two peas that I pointed out, and that one bean. So I'll get to refresh my seed stock of those, I guess the bush beans, they're done for. This bed will be productive though, because as you can see, there's still quite a few turnips I've left behind, the potatoes and the borage. Also, On this side, I've left quite a few of the mallow, or mallow, I'm not sure how that, that's pronounced. They are very tasty wild green. So, leaving the bed as is, it will be a productive garden bed this year. Just like that. The borage is edible, of course, it has a cucumber taste. I don't like it because it's got a fuzzy uh, texture on the leaves. But I think I'll try putting it into stir fries this year. And so now I'm going to put a trellis up beside each of those three plants that are growing.
first I will take these old sticks that I was using for to make the hoops over the feet and cut them in half. That's two. Four. Let's go with that. Six. One, two, three. Yeah, I get it to work. Now I have some jute twine here. Trusty pocket knife. Oh dear.
time to go around the other side first. Oh, it was a little bit short. I decided now I need a longer piece of towing. It's tied onto here. on the bottom. And so there we are. I only have three plants that grew. So that'll be plenty of trellis for those guys. And for the most part, I'm just uh, growing them out to collect seed. And then next year, I 
I'm going to have plenty to plant wherever I like. I started this channel as an encouragement for those living in the southern boreal forest with short growing season and cool summers. If you like what you see, you may wish to subscribe and follow me as I build my homestead with a traditional vegetable garden, food forest, wild foraging, and managing a woodlot.